My name is Jordan. Um, to start off, I'd like to show you this picture here. Some of you may or may not know what this picture is. This pale blue dot, to loosely quote Carl Sagan, this pale blue dot suspended in a sunbeam is the earth. Every love story, every broken heart, every friendship that has fallen apart, everything that's happening in this room, everything that has happened in this room, all happened on that pale blue dot suspended in a sunbeam. Now, that was a lesson in astronomy. I'll get back to that. First off, again, my name is Jordan Balderas. I am the founder and president of a student organization called Youth for Truth. I, uh, I started it at the beginning, around the beginning of my senior year. And basically this group is a forum for discussion for atheists, agnostics, humanists, skeptics, and things of that nature. Um, now, first off, how I got this group started, I had to find a teacher, a sponsor. And it took me a really long time. Just off the top of my head, I can think of 13 teachers that I went to to organize this group, to sponsor this group. And every single one of them told me the same thing. It's too controversial. They didn't want to deal with it. They didn't want to deal with the backlash. They were afraid of the backlash. So then one day, I went to my choir teacher, and I confided in him that I wanted to start this group. And he's always joking around with us. It's kind of an inside joke with his uh, chorale kids um, that he makes three times the median salary. So when I came to him with this idea, he just kind of laughed and said, you know, fine, let's do it. So after that, I um, tried to get everything organized. So I filled out a letter to Dr. Coleman. He approved of it. And then it got to the higher ups on the administrative ladder and they ignored it. So we made another one, but this time it was online. So it couldn't be ignored. So Dr. Coleman, the principal, once again, he approved it, and it was ignored again. So then I contacted them, the administration, and they kept ignoring me. So we filled out another online application, and they ignored it once again. So then I went straight up to the top of the ladder and contacted the person at the top of the ladder to get this group started already. And by this time, it was just about a couple, a few months ago. And I contacted him, I called him his office once a day for two weeks straight. And I only got to his secretary. And then eventually, the fine arts director told me to just email him. So I emailed him, we emailed back and forth for a little bit, and eventually he was just tired of me asking, so he said, go ahead. And then finally, we got it started. Now this is a picture of our first meeting. Some of them are a bit taken off guard. If they saw this, they'd probably kill me. Um, we had a, a pretty fun time. Um, it was my first time actually running a group, and I kind of winged it. I had an agenda set up, and I just kind of winged it, and we had a good time. And um, this is just a place for people to air their opinions on things. We have religious people in there, we have atheists, we have agnostics, humanists, skeptics, uh, hence the first thing that I said. Um, so this was our first meeting. Now this is our second. We had a few teachers in there. It's an ever-growing, ever-populating group. And we have a genuinely fun time talking about things. We talk about a range of things, from social issues to scientific issues. We talk about evolution, gay rights. Um, we've talked about the germ theory, gravity. We've talked about a ton of stuff. And we have a really fun time. Um, people give their opinions almost, it's, it's not just me talking. Everyone in here has an opinion and they give it. And they feel safe when they give it. And that's the point of this group, for people to feel safe while giving their opinions. Which leads me to my next topic, which is intolerance. Um, after it got it started, uh, I started receiving a lot of the backlash. I, um, I put up flyers, and let me, just, let me just read this flyer to you. It says, agnostics, humanist, skeptics, because they made me take out atheists, because that was a little bit too provocative. People call it the atheist group. 
you know. Um, so it says, Youth for Truth is a secular student organization for those with or without a faith tradition who may consider themselves a secularist, agnostic, humanist, or skeptic. This group is welcoming to students, regardless of their backgrounds, to question and discuss sacred and secular philosophies. We believe in and affirm the goodness of all people and understand that morality is not limited to a single faith-based tradition. Our goals are to educate ourselves and our community about religion and non-theism, build a community for all students at North Shore Senior High School, regardless of their religious backgrounds or beliefs, cooperate with other groups of both similar and dissimilar viewpoints to foster understanding and communication. Now, why would anyone have a problem with this? This flyer literally says that anyone is welcome. But two days after I put these up, all of them were gone. So I went, I went back around the senior side again to put more up. A day later, they were all gone again. So I put more up. This time I checked the cameras. And I found two people walking with their hands dragged against the wall, tearing down my flyers. And I actually caught a few of the people in the act before this. Um, a couple of them were actually AP students, which was kind of disappointing to me. Um, and one, another thing that's really disappointing to me is the fact that I went to the sophomore side for a class one day, and this was after the third time that my flyers got torn down on the senior side, and on the sophomore side, none of them had been torn down. And that was a bit disappointing to me to see that sophomores are being more mature than juniors and seniors. So intolerance is a really big issue. And that's what I'm here to address. So a lot of people like to attack the name Youth for Truth. A lot of people like to think that Youth for Truth means that we have the truth, we have all of the truth that you need, and you just need to come to us because we have the truth. Nobody else has the truth, just us. But Youth for Truth, the way I interpreted it, when my mom came to me with the idea of Youth for Truth, the name Youth for Truth, um, the way I interpreted it was that Youth for Truth just means that we are youth searching for truth in our everyday lives. Every single one of us in this room is searching for truth in one way or another. So Youth for Truth just means that we're, on our, we're all on our own journey in life. We all have our own paths. So I really like this quote, Carl Sagan. Somewhere, something, is in, something incredible is waiting to be known. And we admit to not knowing everything. And that's why this group is formed, so that we can talk about things, so that we can find truths. Maybe some of us will have different truths in the end, but we all end up finding some sort of truth. So one of the things that link, that's linked to this group is humanitarianism. Doing good because you want to do good. And this is a really good concept. Whether it's apologizing to someone because you hurt their feelings, or taking out the dishes before your mom gets home so that she doesn't yell at you, or asking a friend what's wrong if they seem sad, each little act ends up going into a bigger picture. So really what we're striving for, we, we have different opinions, different ideals, different, um, just different things in general. Like, we all have differences between us, but we all share a common goal, which is a better world. And we need to realize that. We need to realize that it's not okay to be intolerant towards other people just because they think differently than you. Tolerance needs to be something that we all just have built into us. We all have an innate fear of the unknown, which makes us not so tolerant towards other people. And this is just not a great thing. So now back to the lesson on astronomy, it's something I like to talk about a lot in my group. Take a look at this picture. This is the Milky Way galaxy. This is our galaxy, the one that we live in. Now get a picture in your mind of where we are in this galaxy. Some may be tempted to say straight in the middle. But you couldn't be more wrong. In reality, we are right here. Almost not even visible. One of the things I like to talk about a lot in the group um, is the fact that we are enormously insignificant. And there is nothing wrong with this. 
Once we realize that we are not as big as our ego likes to, tells us, likes to tell us, we realize that the small things that we do to help each other end up creating a bigger picture. We realize that all we have is each other. We are not so big individually. We finally come to the conclusion that all we have is each other. And that's a great thing to realize. So in conclusion, here's another quote by Carl Sagan. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm on my way. One of the biggest things that I like to teach in the group, and I've said it before in the presentation, is that everyone is on their own journey. Everyone is on their own path in life. One should not be judged for the path that they're taking as of now. One should not be told that they are wrong for what they think unless they are infringing upon the rights of another human being. Ideas are ideas, and there's nothing wrong with ideas. Ideas fuel the world. As Bill Nye once said, every single person that you will meet throughout your lifetime knows something that you don't. And that's a beautiful thing. So if you have an idea inside of you that you just can't wait to get out, don't hold it in, because it might just be an idea worth spreading. Thank you.